when an enterprise is trying to adopt uh, Gen AI for their business, how should they start uh, if they're dealing with skill gap, which is yeah. a major challenge? Uh, so what would you be your recommendation in this case? So it definitely depends on the needs of the organization, but as a general template that for the vast majority of companies to adapt, adapt this playbook, where you want to end up is retrieval augmented generation. That's the most commonly needed use case in a lot of enterprises at the moment. And that's where you can interact with a chat model that is grounded on the information of the organization, for example, or, or on a specific data set that is relevant for that user within. And a machine learning generation model is made up of, of two kind of subsystems, a search and retrieval system and a generation system. And the retrieval system is the one that is you can apply and build more robust. You can technically deploy one of these within a weekend. So your internal search systems, every company has a lot of internal data, a lot of internal information that they don't have the ability a lot of the times to search across all of these sources. These systems, a lot of them tend to have existing search systems. And so the most straightforward and the fastest way to inject the intelligence of a language model into the process is to use a re-ranker, to use a, a system that re-ranks the results of an existing search system. So if we have you know, a query, we send it to, I don't know, our SharePoint search system, it will give us a hundred results. We present that to something like ReRank from, from here or ReRankers that do this. And they would just change the order of these results, of these 100 results. They will still return the same 100, but they will say, okay, looking at the query, result number 30 here is actually the most relevant. So I will make that number one. And that tends to improve search results dramatically. And that is one of the major investments you can create to empower your future RAG system because retrieval augmented generation works in this way where a search system gets the most relevant results to answer you know, the, the question of a user in, in a chat. And in that way, I find is a way where people can get a major win very quickly. It can be deployed, it's only one API call and you can deploy it basically in a weekend. You'd have a working language model with no concerns for things like hallucination. Search is a very well-defined problem. It's very well researched. There's a lot of methods to sort of measure them. And so that's a great first way to build that. And then these systems can then be improved by adding semantic search via embeddings. But a re-ranker is generally the first, the best first step because it's, it's quickest.